Um, I broke my neck in 2003. The prediction when I first had the accident, they said I would not be able to move from the neck down. But for me, I've, I've never looked at myself as being paralyzed. 17 years this year, I still believe that one day I'll walk without the walking frame. I'm that stubborn and determined that I won't be beaten. Exercise was something that had made me stronger and given me some discipline. It became a sort of challenge for me to, to be better, to be stronger, to be faster, and, and certainly more so when the accident happened. All I wanted to do was get back in the gym. The gym for me is, is, a, is a mental escape. Um, it's an escape from work, it's an escape from life nowadays, that it's not all about what you look like. It's about the fact that you're actually there in the gym. So whether you weigh 200 kgs or whether you're the most super fit looking person on the planet, it does make a difference. The fact that you're actually in the gym and you're trying your best and you put in as much effort as you can, it's just about the fact you're there and you, you're doing the best that you can. I don't really need to beat you or beat that person pushing more weight than me. I just need to beat me. I need to be better than me every single time I go into that gym or I start walking. I need to be stronger, faster. I need to be better than the last time. The main competitor in any challenges is not the person opposite me. It's me. I've just got to be better every time. If you go into any, any task at all, not only something like a spinal cord injury, if you start off with the wrong attitude, you're already crippling yourself, you're already hindering the possibility of, of you doing anything. You need to adapt and you need to try and work out the best way forward because it's not going to do you any good just to go into a total depression. You really have to try and be positive and there's a lot in the mind. It's never enough. You can always push yourself harder, you can always do more. Don't just give up. Be grateful for what you have. And there's so many people out there who would kill to get into a car and drive. Mm. Who am I to waste that opportunity and to waste that privilege? Walking, standing, that's a privilege.